Catalytic converter stolen again and again. This crime, it is blanketing Bay Area cities and disrupting the lives of many people. And as KTVU's Evan Cernofsky reports, getting a replacement can take months. It's just a very sinking feeling. Kurt Schacher got into his Prius earlier this month outside his home in Oakland, only to hear that telltale sound. In the middle of the night, thieves stripped off his car's catalytic converter, making it the sixth time it's been stolen since he's lived in Oakland. It's more like just a violation of the feeling of safety. You know, societies only function when people can feel safe. More and more victims like Shacker have been coming forward, telling KTVU they've been hit six, seven, eight times or more. And at hundreds of dollars a pop for insurance deductibles, the costs are racking up, becoming yet another unforeseen expense that comes with the living in the Bay Area. To make matters worse, it's harder to get replacements because the rising demand has put the parts on back order for months. Right now, it just doesn't feel like there's any recourse or anything that I can you know, do personally to help change the circumstance. Catalytic converter thefts have recently skyrocketed in California. Thefts have increased an estimated 400 percent since 2019, totaling tens of millions of dollars in stolen parts. And the stakes are higher than ever. Last month, thieves shot at SFPD officers. Before that, a crew fatally shot a 60-year-old man in Oakland who interrupted them. Oh, we're seeing an epidemic of stolen catalytic converters. At Pele's Muffler Works in Albany, Nafanua Pele says about 15 people a day come in after having their catalytic converters ripped off. And he says it can take up to eight months to get a new part for the most commonly hit cars like the Prius. This is what the thieves are going for. Inside the catalytic converter is a honeycomb containing precious metals that are worth more than their weight in gold. How much is one of these, Ryan? About $1,800. This is a two catalytic converters. When the thieves come over, they unbolt it and cut it back here. But Pele has come up with a solution to deter the thieves. He's retrofitting cars with a custom sheet metal cover. What it is is when they see this, they move on to your next target that's accessible. People have tried other ways to dissuade thieves with mixed results. And this one is the uh, anti-theft devices. You buy it from uh, online. That didn't work. So far, he said thieves haven't been able to foil his system that he knows of. He showed us these pictures of a thief's sawzall blade that broke off while they were trying to bust through one of his setups. They try to cut it, but it's hard to cut. We have the solid weld on it. Back in Oakland, Kurt Shacker is one of countless drivers still waiting for a new catalytic converter. But once he gets it, he knows it's only a matter of time before someone rips it off again. I feel pretty defenseless and, and other friends of mine and people I know have suffered through the same circumstance feel the same way. In Oakland, Evan Cernofsky, KTVU, Fox 2 News.